snow here. Go Man, around. like that gum woke up this morning. This guy showed up. Exactly. Hey, it's been just a while. Over, just over here checking the fire poles. We're going back in here to where actually. The day my dad and his kid, we rode up. I was just telling Michael we rode up on a turkey that didn't gobble or nothing, but we came and checked him that night and he gobbled on roof, so we know he will talk. Whether or not today, it's today or not, who knows? Hey, I got, and I know you know, but I got plenty of shells. I got three in my gun. Oh, I got like I, ten. I, do you? <laughs> That's why I like hunting with you. I ain't hunted with you since. Since Western the, Venture last year. Yeah, it got a little Western. I'm hoping we get that out. And it really was Western. We were yeah, out we, were, we got Western in the West. Yeah. I think I, got, I should be good on sales. Yeah, I got two of my gun. Four or five. All right. Let's do it now. This is awesome in here. Why you gotta stay after it? Yeah. Well, everybody calm down. I'm gonna kill a turkey, no matter what it takes. Hey, baby, we gotta run by what we want. Good. That federal TSA made it look pretty good. This is awesome in here. We're done. Yeah. We're tagged out for the night. Oh, that is a main old speed up head right there now. Did you hear him? Uh-uh. He stayed down there pretty deep. That we can drive up here on this hill, he got here for sure. Dude, hey, that's awesome. But you know what's amazing? You hooted here, and, and just between here and there, sounded like you went 200 yards. That's great. And I was right there. I know it. Well, he, he probably, speaking, he probably as far as you think. Man. I mean, what I'm saying is, I don't know if Drake knows today. I was like, golly, he just went 40 yards. That's these daggone pines. I mean, let's go and see if he's, he's right there where he was, I think. I think it was a gobbler, not a hen. I don't know. It was either a strong, strong fly down cackle or a it's a pretty good went all over here. <laughs> Everybody can put their head net on now. Drake calls it superstitious, I just call it what works, but I've always never put my head net around my neck till I hear a turkey. <laughs> Oh, you got a bunch of TikToks. I got to figure that out, I guess. Right, these hard ones start right here. I think there's two different turkeys. Maybe on our side. It might be. Get this dead ball away to set up. I think we're good on distance, so.
awfully long beard. Man, thank you, Philip. <laughs> hey, buddy. Thank you, man. You worked that perfect, buddy. Good job. I thought for sure they'd suck on up in here. But let me tell you something. He's running down there. Y'all been watching this boy, Philip Culpepper. He come to work at Real Tree, 16 years of age. And I'm telling you, passionate. I love turkey hunting, but you're looking at one of the best turkey hunters, if not the best turkey hunter in the country. I don't care what nobody says on Facebook, good old boys, haters, whoever it is. I don't care if you let him see any country. I put old Philip Culpepper against anybody out there. Drake, who's been behind the camera the last couple of years, video and all this stuff. And so for me, it's an honor to see somebody who I remember as a kid, me and him would go hunting, and he was always trying to pick up and learn from people like Dick Kirby, Paul Butsky. And I, I, I'd like to say I taught him a few things, but he, I, he he's teaching me now, and I'm, I'm proud of him. So That's my daddy moment. It's my big brother moment. I love that boy right there. He's a hell of a turkey hunter. Somebody talk about him. You're talking about me and my family. I'm coming after you. He's on the cusp of being the proverbial limb hunter. No way! No! Woo! <laughs> Good job, dude. That was, That's a big turkey. That gum, that was fun. Jeez, I'd have shot him five uh, minutes ago if I'd known he was that big. <laughs> well, the reason, only reason I said, hold on, man, he's a Good stud. Good night, you worked that perfect. Look at that. Shit, that was a team, man. Good night, Chuck Sykes shipped at that turkey. <laughs> I'm glad it worked I out like that. I guarantee you, he's hurting too, Carl. And that tin pit star well, you could tell when she cut that yeah. one time out that that die fell. Yeah, and, and the only reason, and I didn't know what he was gonna do, but I said y'all better kill him because the hen was right here. She was like no. she was right below me like ten yards. Yeah. And, and so I, and, and I and he, I didn't want her to start I putting. I still ain't hundred percent he ever saw but you both Cephas. I no. think if he had he would have Yeah, I was no, hoping. no, I think I, it was just enough on the craft, but it was they came man and she led the way and he strutted and strutted and strutted. God that was I wind at him a you, little bit, you know, which I learned that you from you. You called that perfect. You called it perfect. Yeah, I, and I knew I that knew little exactly. wine. I was like, well, I maybe I knew what you was trying to do. You was trying. To, you knew I had him in range. Like, yeah, Let me see if I can make him do something. Could, I, I, I couldn't tell exactly how far was he. Was a pretty good what 40? 45? He's 40, 35, 40 for sure. I, I remember thinking you in range. I just want to make sure I got a clean shot. Yeah. And there's a little bit of these. Well, in the hen, guns see, I heard her walking. I said, that's why I told her. I said, y'all better, y'all better get ready to kill him. Look at that. Look at there. He's a old There's a lot of two-year-olds in the woods this year, but this one is not two. This is a big old shark, spurry, something like I could cut them <laughs> off and ride a bronc with him. Like, that makes me want to be I'm, a cowboy. I'm 99.9% I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> sure that's the turkey we roosted the other night. And I said, I well, we'll just he, wait. And we talked about coming this week. I you said, called we'll just... it. And, and getting on this ridge. He was roosted literally on the creek, and he could have flew on either I, side. I, it, he flew on this ridge. Yeah, and then I think the hen, she cut that one time. I said, man, I think she's on our So she pitched our way. I was like, we got a chance. And luckily she kept on going. It, it was everything. Up. It couldn't have been more textbook and beautiful. Just pretty that dead fall to that. where, you know, it's pretty open. Oh, in yeah. Here. And the foliage, you know, early in the year, you wouldn't be able to get where we got. No, ain't no way. That, that thick foliage helped us. And we that, that pushed just, it with that. That ridge helped us. But man, that, that makes was, me so freaking happy. Turkeys are man. working, man. It's like it's the daggum second week of March. It is. <laughs> The last, what, three, four days has been insanity. I mean, he knows. He, they killed three yesterday. So. <laughs> <laughs> he got a rope on him. Thank you Good for letting job, me man. shoot, Philip. I, I, thank I, you, Bill Durbin. Honor. That was, this yeah, is thank Bill's you, place. Bill, for thank you, Bill for here. And we literally came in the back gate, but we appreciate it, Bill. <laughs> That was thanks to Drake Lamb, man, because he's he's the one that wanted to come here and try to roost his turkey yeah. the other day, and I, or else I never would have even said, man. You think that's, well, another thing I, I got to think you, about, well, the I turkey I yelled that was running down the road was right here. Well, and that's what hit me. I thought, you know what, I'm feeling pretty good because I know nothing other than, you know, I heard you and Drake say, you know, when y'all come up, he y'all called and he didn't got, but he, you know, whether he's walking to you or just I not wouldn't have come back had he so not. So he was went, on this side. You know what right, the other night, side. yeah, he was on this side, and the other night we came in here and he roosted, and we, he gobbled four or five times on the limb. I said, well, we in this boat, he'll gobble. Spot? Was he roosted? When Let me, it's, within it's, it's, it's spooky. From from back there at that tee where we started, I marked him where I thought me and Drake looked at it, I marked him where I thought he was. Almost the same. And I sat down and pulled up my phone, it's on the GoPro, the exact same spot. Are I mean, I mean like exactly. That it's always that, it's it's always that saying, you see it on every YouTube, every show, like, yep, he's been strutting. Yeah. <laughs> every time, I look <laughs> at every one of them. <laughs> of course, well, yeah. yeah. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, because I've always said, man, if you do that and they're, they ain't got nothing worn around, you got a bonus turkey. If you kill <laughs> that, that one is true. Thing, true. Yeah. You looked up. That right there, that day. I've been the light in the local turkey. There ain't a pimp in Compton been strutting anymore than him, I can tell you. Let's see what we, the kind of response we get out of this. 
Sure ain't me up yet. Probably not. You just better wake her butt up. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna go with me and her turkey hunting together. Yeah. She's not even up yet. Yeah, that ain't exactly. a good start. <laughs> She's a good afternoon hunter. Right before I Rose. was gonna tell her we we got Michael turkey that we had found our babysitter. But I don't know, we may have to just keep rolling. Ain't a good start, Christy. Where you at? Yeah. Well, here it is, an early morning installment of why he did what he did and my first installment with my brother Michael Waddell. Yes. And it's the successful one if we're talking this loud, obviously, this more early in the morning. Michael <laughs> hit it on the head. We was just talking, holding turkey up. The key to this was this knob right here, I think, in this fold. Is we got in here tight on this turkey and kind of did the old doubling, dueling banjos with that hen. <laughs> and, I, and, and she she literally, she let him in here. I mean, you know, she she ducked off. We're in the hole where she came up to this break, and she went around, and he and he was, they, they had him dead to rights right there. He was strutting the reins, and, man, it looks further than you think. Yeah. From up there, but he was 39? 39, so I got him. 39. 36 and, to 30, I think. He's right on the other side of that little dead. And the cool and the, the cool thing about this is is we got fortunate enough that hen, we got to kind of got to talk with her and she came this way. But when he hit the ground, he never gobbled. He gobbled probably 80 times in the tree and never said a word till we saw him and he got in here on us. So had she not brought him over here, they could have been right over that knob for an hour the whole time. Right. So, you know, I think that, that, that was the key turning point of this. We started working that hen when we knew she was in there and she and sounded like she pitched this way and sometimes you need a little bit of luck and he didn't save us on this one. The old saying, get, try to get 100, 150 yards from him. I feel like we was 100 yards from that turkey and Philip called him about 50 yards in and that was all it took. He flew down and got that hen coming our way. So You know, normally these turkeys may jump around but it's late in the year, man, they kind of hunker down when they get a comfortable spot and this turkey was almost to the in the same tree he was the other night. Yeah. So we felt confident he'd be in here and luckily he talked. And, Michael, cut him down. Good job, brother. That was awesome. Thank you, man. That was awesome. That would be 94. Jeez. I wonder if we can get to 100 today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just love this guy. I won it in a turkey calling contest years and years ago. And I was so pumped. It was like one of the first guns I, I'd ever won. Mm -hmm. And it was black. Truck. It was black. And I dipped it originally, I think, in like all-purpose brown. Then I, and then the year Bill came out with Advantage Timber, I, I dipped it in Advantage Timber. And I ha haven't Who dipped it again. Uh, Grady. That's the name of it. Oh, okay. Grady. <laughs> okay. Got it yeah. on. I even carved my initials in here in case somebody tried to steal it. They know they had my gun. Unless your name one. is Marvin Williams. Yeah. <laughs>